Okay, well, welcome back uh, to our second of our unannounced uh, live video broadcasts. Um, we're a couple of minutes later than usual. The uh, We can thank the Mac update for uh, telling Google not to allow <laughs> live streaming. And uh, we got that straightened out. And we are, uh, I'm Pat Buchanan. I'm your host here at uh, RV Life. And once again, as I mentioned, this was sort of an unannounced, uh, and I'm looking at my screen here, an unannounced broadcast just to work out all the bugs. We, we played a little bit last week. You know, as we mentioned, we're in a new location. We have new software, um, some new uh, assets. And, and uh, one of the things we're doing here is we, we noticed last week the lighting was terrible. And so it was a very pixelated uh, visual experience. So uh, we've got boatloads of new light here. And I've got my spotter out there, Bob. And um, what we're going to look for here is uh, Bob's going to send a comment when this does appear. Um, uh, in theory, this should be appearing on our RV Life Pro Facebook page, as well as our RV Life YouTube channel. Um, so if you're out there and you're watching this, um, post a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Um, our goal with this broadcast is to uh, really produce it on a, a weekly uh, schedule, a live schedule. Right now, this Wednesday at 11 a.m. Central Time uh, is sort of the leader in the clubhouse. And um, so we tried to target that time frame a little bit closer today with this test broadcast. Um, if we feel like today went, six, uh, went well and, and was successful, we will actually let people know about this and give you a chance to plan and um, show up and ask questions. You know, our goal here is going to be to help uh, our customers, our members, our prospective customers understand and use and learn uh, what RV Life Pro and the accompanying tools are all about. Um, real quick, um, hey, look at there. Thanks, Bob. Good to hear that we are seeing, we, we, we are uh, uh, showing up on both our RV Life YouTube channel and our RV Life Facebook page. Um, which is slightly different than the RV Life Facebook group. Um, it's a page you don't have to join. Just like and follow and you'll be alerted. Um, I will throw a question out there to Bob if uh, how the video looks. You know, it was horribly pixelated last week. And so just give me some feedback on that. Um, for those that uh, aren't familiar with RV Life Pro, or maybe you have one of the components of RV Life Pro, uh, but you don't really know exactly what you have. so. Uh, RV Life Pro is kind of our suite, uh, the title that we use. Um, I always uh, akin it to Microsoft Office. You know, we all uh, speak interchangeably about Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, but we also use Microsoft Office. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this spreadsheet in Microsoft Office. Um, and Bob says we're still a little pixelated, so um, not 100. I'm actually running at 720p. So I'm not 100% sure if that can be improved or what we're going to be doing there. I may, have to, um, I may have to go to the vendor and get some tips on that. Um, so that's good to know. Um, but RV Life Pro is, is in that same vein where RV Life Pro means we have RV Life Trip Wizard, uh, RV Life GPS app for your mobile phone, which is RV Safe GPS. We have RV Life Maintenance, which is a uh, maintenance tool uh, to keep track of your RV Life maintenance. We have RV Life Campgrounds, which um, uh, some of you that have been in the RVing uh, a while, uh, you'll know that as campground reviews or even way back RV park reviews. And uh, we've continued to grow and nurture and build that site up to be the massive data repository that it is for RV, uh, RV campgrounds and information. Um, but those things uh, encompass what RV Life Pro is. And it's um, whether you're a seasoned RVer or particularly a new RVer that doesn't almost don't know enough to know what you don't know yet, right? Um, you need a way to plan trips. And RV Trip Wizard is, uh, RV Life Trip Wizard is the, is the go-to tool for that for a couple of reasons. Um, not only does it, um, allow you, and we'll, we'll, in fact, we'll pull that up on the screen while I'm yakking here. Let's just add that to the screen and we'll play with some of the controls. So we still got my head in the corner. We see a nice example of 
uh, RV Life Trip Wizard on the screen, uh, RV Life Trip Wizard basically consolidates all of the tools you need to cohesively build a trip um, with, all the, with all the tools you need. You can see here I'm turning on and off the campgrounds just to, for a little bit of clarity. But what that means is RV Life Pro is going to give you an RV safe route based on the RV dimensions you've plugged in, height, weight, length, propane status. And, and then we're gonna show you all campgrounds. Um, we don't just show you partial, uh, a small list or a partial list. We have, you know, state parks, national parks, local parks, city parks, um, obviously the national campgrounds, forest, uh, uh, national forests, BLM, uh, Corps of Engineers parks. We've got all the privately owned, all the chains, a thousand trails, KOA, Good Sam. I mean, anything you can think of because we are essentially neutral. We're the Switzerland of the campground world, if you will, uh, in that our goal is to show you every single thing we can get our hands on. And with 20 years of data, uh, that means we're showing you virtually everything that exists. Um, certainly, I could build a campground this afternoon and, and it might not be on my list. But as soon as the owner takes the initiative to let us know, or another RVer says, hey, I went to this campground, I want to review it. Um, it's not here. Then, of course, we'll add that. Um, so what you're looking at here is that um, trip planning aspect of it. We're going to help you find campgrounds. We're going to show you exactly where you're going to be at the end of the driving day. And I'm just going back to my comments here. Um, we're going to show you based on the information. Uh, and of course, we've got the train coming through. I'm going to go through playback and see how big of an impact it is. These uh, lovely um, Apple AirPod noise-canceling earphones will hopefully... Uh, AirPods will hopefully uh, drown out the uh, train, uh, just like your favorite campground. We got a train that runs by. So, um, but we're going to help you plan a trip on your tablet or your laptop. Uh, this trip wizard, which you're looking at, can actually be used on the phone as well. Uh, it changes the dynamic a little bit in the way that it looks. Um, but based on uh, the miles, uh, based on the uh, the time that you like to drive, you know, we always have. A either a number of miles we like to achieve each day uh, or a number of hours that we prefer to drive. I always go by hours because there's a fixed amount of hours I'm willing to be in the, in the rig. And if I go 300 miles or 200 miles or whatever, you know, I'm planning ahead. I know I don't want to be in that thing longer than five, four or five hours. Um, we personally have actually sort of changed the way we travel. And rather than try to plan a bunch of stops and, get the dogs out and in and out of the rig and all that type of stuff. Um, we just hit four or five hours nonstop and that's it. That's it for the day. So uh, other than fuel stops perhaps, um, or, um, but, but we can usually run that duration. And so we've changed a little bit the way we travel, but the point is you might be one of the 330 milers, um, uh, you might be, it may be eight hours, you know, all depends on the size of the rig, the type of driving you like to do, but we're going to show you, and you'll see on the, in fact, on the screen, on that map there, there's sort of a green blob, uh, if you will, that's our driving radius. And that shows me that from Phoenix, that's exactly five hours out on any one of those roads. Um, so we're going to know exactly where you're going to be at the end of the day. Now we're going to show you all of the campgrounds along that path um, via our massive data set, which is campground reviews. Uh, RV Life campground reviews is what we call it. And we have all of those campgrounds and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so between that and uh, you're also going to give us your fuel capacity and your miles per gallon, we're gonna be able to show you where you need fuel exactly as well. And we can see here, um, if I look at this and zoom in a little bit, with this fuel icon, we can see I'm gonna need fuel here uh, just west of Barstow, north of Palmdale, and this area right here. Um, this actually isn't my trip. It's it's one I I gathered from somewhere. I don't even remember where, but um, it's kind of a roundabout West Coast swing. And um, all of this information, we're going to allow you to take the, you know, with RVing, we want the adventure, but we don't necessarily want the mystery of, or the unknown uh, when it comes to our driving and our planning, you know. Um, so by being able to do this, uh, this is a, a great example of this trip. 
where I have, uh, we've got a route, we've got a schedule, you know, uh, no doubt we've gone in and made reservations here uh, on these various parks. And when we look at this, you know, one of the neat features here, I'm gonna move this trip menu out of the way, is we can see the elevation and the grade. Now this is a great uh, visual right here um, because we are seeing what looks to be uh, like a potentially <laughs> frightening elevation experience um, in that we're going from roughly zero, you know, 52 feet here to 6,400 feet. But this is over a fairly broad trip and we can vet that by just saying, look at the grade. So this massive change right here is still only a 2% grade. So that's nothing. It's over a very long distance of, of miles. You can see the miles below. Um, if we had any concern, it would be this section here, which is a 4% grade. That's really not, you know, that's really not a big concern um, for most any uh, for most any trip. Um, so this is just, just a fantastic tool, just one of the many pieces we have here. You know, going back to it, if I was concerned or I wanted to see what this five percent, uh, this of uh, four uh, percent grade look looked like, I can go to satellite view and I can look at some of these things. And we have this built right in. Uh, if we wanted to look at this little section here, kind of in the mountains, right? We can come up, and I'm just going to poke at my comments. Everything looks okay. We can come over to our map settings, go to map style. And we can go to satellite view and get a, a bit of a view there, which is great. But more importantly, I want to look at the road. So let's just go down here, take a look at that. And I can see, look, this is a pretty nice two, even three lane, well black topped um, highway. Um, so I and I can vet this to whatever extent I'm comfortable with. I can see the signs. I can see what's going on here. Um, it's all up to me on how much vetting. I, I use the word a lot, but how much information do I need to have to feel comfortable on on our trip? And um, you know, one of the things, and I will let's do a new, let's do a little split here. We'll just tuck that away in the side. Uh, one of the things I run into all the time is, uh, well, you know, we we, we took a route and um, we weren't comfortable. You know, perfect example is the um, I, I use and I guess I probably use the example a lot is the uh, 550 up through Colorado, the million dollar highway. Um, it is a gorgeous drive. It is a windy, turny drive with um, sheer drop offs and no guardrail. But it's really a perfectly safe drive if you drive, you know, normal and proper. And you know, if you look at that route, and maybe we will in a minute. But there's campgrounds. Um, thanks, Bob. There's campgrounds all up and down this road. Now, how do you suppose campers get that if they're not supposed to take the 550 or it's not a comfortable drive? Well, how do you suppose those folks are supposed to get to that campground? They're supposed to take the 550. And the, the, the moral behind that is not every route that is perfectly RV safe is RV comfortable for every RVer. You know, a brand new RVer pulling that big fifth wheel for the first time, perhaps the 550 isn't their first journey they should take. But, you know, and, and certainly we have folks pulling a 20 foot camper, you know, behind a, an SUV or something like that. So, um, our goal with this tool is to give you the opportunity. We're going to start by giving you an RV safe route based on the dimensions and whatnot that you've plugged in. After that, it's up to you to decide, am I comfortable with that route? And so we're going to use those tools, uh, those vetting tools like satellite view, street view, elevation, grade, to let you make the decisions that are best for you. Um, you know, one of the things that a, a GPS or a routing tool is not really capable of doing is, is deciding that um, there's too many trees on this road. I, you know, it, it just it's like saying, well, this this grocery store is uh, is fantastic. It's a but the aisles are, are, are too narrow. 
you, you can't know that, right, without, without going there. Um, and while we can't get you the, uh, we can get you outside the grocery store, I can't get you inside the aisles. But here with RV Life Trip Wizard, you actually can get right on the road. And we showed you that a minute ago with Street View. So if there's any, uh, and one of the great things, and we will jump back to that real quick here. Let me change my view. I want to go back to this one. One of the neat things here is as we turn all of our campgrounds back on, um, as I'm deciding what campground I need, I can just click on them. And I'm going to get a rating. I'm going to get some pictures and things like that. But if I go to the park details, I'm going to get some reviews. And I'm going to get tips and Q&A. So if I'm really interested in this campground, I'm going to review those. We give them to you right here. It's all built in. This data all comes from um, RV Life Campground Reviews, but you don't have to go out there to find it. It's all right here. I'm going to read through these. And if it says, well, Highway 17 had a lot of trees and we were really concerned about scratching our rig, great. Go down to Satellite View. Go down to Street View. Look at that for yourself. Um, Google Maps, you know, we, we call out to Google Maps for that type of thing because it's the most um, visually accurate for that street view sort of uh, formula. And you can look and say, well, you know what? Those trees, they look pretty terrible. They're right. Maybe we won't go in that way. Or perhaps it's 2022 and you're looking at that and the review is 2021 or 2020 or whatever. And those trees have been cut since then. It's up to you to vet that and make sure you're comfortable with every single aspect um, of this journey. Uh, because depending on your rig, depending on your experience, all of these things can be scary and concerning. Um, I drive a 43 foot diesel pusher and I pull a Jeep, so we're 60 feet. Uh, it's taken me a few years or, you know, to um, where I don't get in that thing and my stomach doesn't want to get in with me. You know, I feel comfortable now. I can I can drive it anywhere, but but even with that experience, I don't leave it to chance. I vet this any trip I'm going to take, um, I'm going to carefully vet uh, within RV Life Trip Wizard. Um, when it comes to navigating that that's kind of a weird emphasis. When it comes to navigating uh, that trip, um, obviously you have a couple of options. You can just plug addresses into your uh, the RV safe GPS you hopefully have in your rig. Um, obviously, we have our RV Life app. Um, so let's jump to that real quick. Let's do a stop share on that. And we're now going to share. Um, here we go. And I like, I think the split works well for this. So there you're going to see. Um, on my phone, and hopefully nothing stupid will pop up while I'm doing it. Um, you, right now, we're in the RV Life app. Uh, when you first open the app, it takes you to this little home screen. Um, and really, this is just sort of an ad hoc um, tool that says, hey, this is where I am. And, and, and before we jump out to get too confusing here, the RV Life GPS and Campgrounds app is part of the RV Life Pro suite. Um, it is, you sign into the app so that it recognizes you, it finds your trips in the cloud and all that, which we'll look at here uh, momentarily. Um, but the first thing this app is going to do is show you, hey, look, I, I, I'm a GPS. Of course, it's on a phone. And so it has GPS. So it says, hey, look, you're near uh, Alito, roughly, from a, from a weather station standpoint. So we can see what the weather's like. I've got campgrounds nearby. This is my favorite. I like the rest stops and gas. Uh, automatically page through. And of course, they show me the nearest rest stops and fuel stops. So while I won't use this screen during my trip planning, because I'll show you that in a moment, um, it's great for an ad in an ad hoc circumstance to find those. We'll even go a little bit farther out here, and we're going to show you some features. We're going to show you campgrounds that are within a few hours away. We're going to show you uh, articles and um, some favorite campgrounds, things like that. So there's quite a bit here from that perspective. Um, but circling back to Trip Wizard now, I've, I've planned a trip in RV Life Trip Wizard. I've taken the time, I've vetted the trip, I've looked every facet of it, and we didn't even get a, scrape the surface of fuel and fuel stations and 
stops and grocery stops and Walmart and Cabela's and all the different things that we might want to stop at or go through or or whatever. I check all that out ahead of time. So let's say I vetted that trip properly. Um, now, if I go to my trips menu, and there's my Out West 2022 trip, I can now navigate this trip using my phone, using my GPS. Um, I don't know what it's going to do since I'm not in Arizona right now, but this is the part when we start to navigate, we touch that little red arrow there. And here's what I want to do is match my planned trip route exactly. And that feature, being able to do that means all the time and the work and the effort I spent in RV Life Trip Wizard now is just done for me. And I can just follow that route. I can drive with confidence, or as we say, a journey with confidence is one of our taglines. But I can journey with confidence and follow my route on my phone because I have planned, I've done the work ahead of time. Now, look, there's going to be folks out there with Jeeps pulling little pop-ups and things like that. Love it. More power to you. I got a Jeep too, um, where maybe that's not of interest to you. And you're like, I don't need a plan. I don't care about any of that stuff. I'm small enough to get wherever I want to go. What? Where's the value for me? So the value there for you, perhaps, is to bail out of that trip area. Just go to the map and just find you a campground and just say, hey, let's go to Oklahoma this week. Let's tap on a campground. Fun Town RV Park. All right, looks good. We tap on that. We've got our reviews. We've got our ratings. We've got a price scale there. We've got uh, all kinds of details and information here, boatloads of stuff. And I'm just going to hit my directions and I'm just going to navigate and build that route and go. And I get a couple of options here. We can see that um, I've got an alternative car route listed. So this is great because if I did have a Jeep and a pop-up, I could take that route. Otherwise, I'm going to stick with the RV route. Now, what's what I love about this, so I can tell you right now, <laughs> from from Dallas-Fort Worth to Oklahoma City, there's basically one route. All right, you're going up 35. That's why both my routes are the same. Um, but what I love about this is that it recognizes that you're not going to be going as fast in your rig, right? So you can see there's a time difference here of about 15 minutes. Um, that's probably pretty accurate because I'm just not going to be going as fast in my RV or pulling an RV or a trailer as I would if I was just booking it you know, in a car or a SUV or something by itself. So um, that's just a little bit of a sidebar to let folks know that there is all kinds of value in these two products together. Um, and again, that just sort of scratches the surface. We have uh, access to um, what we call RV Life Maintenance, which is currently sort of a web-based, browser-based only um, type of a uh, tool. Um, but we are in the midst of refocusing that, refreshing, rewriting that tool to be a super easy to use, friendly um, phone uh, app, as well as still being able to access it via the browser. So uh, very premature to really even comment on that other than it's happening. Um, and as many folks know from the pressers uh, over the last few months, we recently acquired RV Masterclass, which we have now uh, rebranded as RV Life Masterclass. And we are close-ish to giving um, some of those courses, some of those uh, courses free access to our RV Life Pro members. So all of this amazing value is $59 a year. Uh, this really isn't a selling video. Um, our goal with this video series, uh, video classroom, whatever you want to call it, is to... Um, Let's just drop that out for a second, is to provide instruction and help and value for our RV Life members. Um, uh, and, and Bob, if you're still there, I see a comment. I see your comments from YouTube. Do you have the ability to post a comment through Facebook as well? I'd love to see that that's working uh, as well. Um, but anyway, so this, uh, so this is our goal, is to provide value to our members find a way for, you know, 
in the old days, you bought software, you got a big manual with that software. Um, even with the advent of PDFs and things like that um, and downloads, we have an amazing documentation section here in RV Trip Wizard, but uh, sometimes people just still want that uh, face-to-face, is in quotes here at this point, but that face-to-face instruction, um, classroom-esque type of instruction. And that's our goal here um, is to provide that for folks. Uh, I do want to point out, since it just crossed my mind, um, let's stop sharing the app. And I want to bring up Trip Wizard again real quickly to show you something within there. And we're going to go back to this view. I can tell you right now, this new tool is fantastic. Um, one of the things we have here built into RV Trip Wizard is our help menu. And I'd like to point out two very specific things about this help menu. Number one is this documentation tab. We actually do a pretty good job, and by we, I mean the RV uh, Life Trip Wizard team, a pretty great job of documenting the product and keeping this up to date. Uh, so that's one aspect. The other is this icon, this, this button down here called video support. Um, this videos tab has some things on it and that's that's great. But if, but if I had to plug the ears of the programmers for a minute and say, just ignore that videos tab, if you will, and come here to the video support tab. This is actually going to take you to, whoops, let me stop that, to our RV Life Trip Wizard YouTube channel. And we're always gonna find the most recent videos here under product training. And these videos right here, for example, this first five uh, is about 47 minutes, will save you hours of frustration and wondering. They are essentially that visual manual I would put in your hands in the old days of sending you a box of software. So. Uh, I always recommend watch those. We are um, going to be refreshing those soon. I'm already in talks with our video uh, person on that, um, simply because a couple of the menus have changed since those videos came out last year. Um, not enough to, I don't think, make it uh, uh, difficult, but it's certainly enough time to look at redoing those. But this is an important aspect of this help menu. Um, we also have this community support button, and that's going to take you to the RV Life Trip Wizard Forum here on IRV2. So if you're not familiar with IRV2, it is a forum uh, in the classic sense of the word. Long before social media, we had forums. And amazingly, in the face of uh, the massive amounts of social media that we have uh, available to us, the forum is still the most or one of the most highly valued properties of all because they're moderated carefully. So you just don't have that insane stuff going on that that uh, that that's many social media channels have. Um, but it's also the data doesn't disappear. Uh, when I am when I'm searching, if I if I get a new to me, um, uh, uh, a new to me, 2008 Fleetwood uh, Southwind uh, or Bounder, whatever. Um, I, you know, I'm going to have questions. I want to Google stuff. I want to find out things about that. Nine times out of ten, you're going to end up here at IRV too. So it's a wonderful, wonderful resource for all things RVing, and it's accessible. If we go back to here, we click on community support. It takes us to IRV two, where we have um, a very specific. RV Life Trip Wizard thread um, conversation forum going. And so you can ask questions, especially uh, you know, more detailed or unique questions. Um, it's, it's a great resource. However, let's not forget, we still have our contact us and I can ask a specific question about um, RV Life Trip Wizard to our support team. Uh, so our support team is amazing. They are a uh, a group, a, a fairly large group of RVers um, that uh, they, they're they all RVers. In other words, uh, this isn't just 
folks that know software. They know our software, but they also know RVing, real RVing. Um, so shout out to those folks that are always working almost around the clock, it seems. We've got them on both coasts and, and all through the middle. Uh, so if you have questions, you don't have to say, well, I don't know, is it too late? Is it too early? Just get in there and fire those questions away because they're uh, more often than not going to be answered uh, pretty quickly. And uh, it's a great way to, uh, awesome. Thanks, Bob. Um, I see that Facebook comment now. Uh, it's a great way to communicate with our team when you when you have questions. So um, we've got documentation. We've got contact support. We've got community forums. We've got the YouTube channel. We have a Facebook uh, a Facebook page as well for RV Trip Wizard. And of course, now we're trying to bring in these uh, li uh, these live videos, which um, we will keep these videos. Uh, and the you know we we we've had a fair amount of emphasis on RV Life Trip Wizard because right now it is kind of the uh, elephant in the room. It's what everybody uses the most. It draws the most attention, the most questions. It has the the largest, perhaps the highest learning curve um, because it is so powerful. But we are streaming this to the RV Life Facebook page and the RV Life Facebook channel because ultimately this this will be about all things RV Life Pro which means at some point down the road, we're gonna talk about uh, RV Life Maintenance. We're gonna talk about RV Life Masterclass. Um, uh, anything, any questions that folks have on really any of our products that are that are related to this. And frankly, we'll we'll take questions on darn near anything you can come up with. If, if we can help somehow, uh, we'll help you. And if we have to direct you to the IRV2 form or some other resource, we're happy to do that. But we just want to be there for our customers and our members um, as a as a living resource uh, to to help you all out. So I now I didn't have any questions last time, and what I'm hoping I think we'll do here is we'll uh, again if I go back and look at this and I'm happy with the results and according to Bob everything looks looks good, um, then we will um, shoot an email out and, and try to let folks know or, or a Facebook post or something. Um, to let everyone know that we're doing this on a regular basis. Again, my goal at this point is Wednesdays uh, at 11 a.m. And uh, try to do that on a repeatable basis. I'm going to target it once a week. Now, if I don't get enough questions to keep it interesting, um, you can only listen to me ramble about stuff for so long. So if we don't get enough questions, maybe we'll have to go every other week and let those build up and just advertise it a little bit more to build up those questions. But for now, we'll start once a week. Uh, if nothing else, it'll give us a chance to uh, to continue to hone our, uh, our broadcasting skills here with this tool. Um, for the curious out there, I'm using StreamYard. Um, I do have a Yeti mic, but I am actually using the Apple AirPods because they have the um, noise cancellation of, to prevent the train from taking over our broadcast. I'm really happy with the way StreamYard performs, um, pixelation aside, uh, at least early on. So we'll have to see what that entails. Um, I don't have anything else today. No other questions have come in. Um, so we'll go ahead and wrap with the um, under the assumption that we'll be here again next Wednesday at 11 a.m. Central Time. Uh, if you're watching this video post-production, um, please feel free to ask questions. They won't get answered right away, uh, but they can seed, uh, seed the bed, so to, so to speak, for next week's broadcast. We can answer the questions folks are having. Um, you know, something I did come up and I just wanted to, to remember it again. So we did a little, uh, a little RV show here locally in the DFW area. Um, talk to some people. It was, a, it was a good opportunity to get in front of some people here locally. And a gentleman asked me, he said, I just took a trip and my Garmin took me down a dead end dirt road. He said, will you guarantee me that your RV Life GPS app will not do that? And I looked at him and I said, no, no, I, I can't guarantee you that. GPSs are going to do what GPSs do. They're going to get the data that they harvest from the city, the, de the state, the Department of Transportation, whatever resources they use um, to, to harvest that data, they're going to present that data to the GPS. 
so I said, you'll get a nice RV safe route to that dead end dirt road. But I added, what I can tell you is that if you'll plan that trip in RV Life Trip Wizard, vet that trip out carefully ahead of time, and then follow that route exactly when you do use our navigation, then you won't end up on that dead end dirt road. But it is up to you to do that legwork ahead of time, which is why we provide the tools. Uh, it's why we add so many features into RV Trip Wizard, uh, RV Life Trip Wizard. I didn't even, you know, we, we didn't even cover it. And we'll, we'll leave, try to leave some content for future broadcasts, but we've got wind speed. Um, uh, we've got fire, uh, uh, let's see, I want to say forest fires. Let me see what Colin, let's go. Let's, uh, what would you call them, those things? Um, I'm, I'm just looking because I can't even think of what they're called. Weather layers, uh, wildfires. I guess it was wildfires. We've got um, weather radar. We've got wind speed. We've got wildfires. We can show you all these things on the map so that you can plan your trip even more carefully. And we already talked about satellite view, street view, elevation, grade. We've got every campground. We've got RV safe, RV safe routes. We can show you low clearances and we're happy to do so. But the reality is we don't even let you go there. We route you around them because you've already provided that data to us. So we'll try to leave a mis little bit of a mystery for a future broadcast. Uh, I could probably talk four hours on this uh, on this stuff, and I do. If if you ever if you ever see me at a trade show, whether it, typically we're going to do the Tampa, the big Tampa show, and the big Hershey show, and occasionally some smaller ones in between. But uh, you know, we 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 talk your ears off on this because it's such an amazing product. We believe in it so strongly, and um, you know, one of the things that we have the ability to do, and if we circle back to the support concept again, if you have a problem let us know. I, there are so many times, and we really dug into this with trade shows because folks took the time to come to our booth and talk to me and say, hey, I just have a question. This thing would not let me on this road, even though I saw RVs going on it. I, I know it's a safe road, but it wouldn't let me go there. So I didn't want to take a chance. We took a lot longer way to get here. And now I want to know why. We dug into it. We dug into their trip, into their trip name, into their settings. And we've found some examples that we found. I, I have one particularly in my mind that because it happened in Hershey, we were talking to this, this person, this lady, this wonderful lady, but they had their RV height set at 14 feet just to be safe. Because it was like, well, you know, it's worse 13 something, but we just put 14 feet just to be safe. Um, I've run into the problems with that are, are, are a myriad of problems for obvious reasons. Uh, I ran into one recently where they had 80,000 pounds for their weight. So it wasn't letting them go through cities and things, small, small towns and that had ordinances. They were, they were getting redirected completely around them. Uh, I've seen all kinds of things. Um, people accidentally tapping the avoid highways button and getting a circuitous route that was just you know, off the off the charts, crazy, but it was trying to avoid highways. It was, it was doing what they asked. So uh, we've got so much power here and so many tools at our disposal. Um, but if you have a problem, we can research it. We can find out, you know, maybe that answer is there's just something wrong with the map provider and the data that they have. That's okay. Let's get an answer. Let's find out. It may be a setting you have. It may be a choice you made. It may be... Um, Again, any number of little things that we've seen. Avoid tolls. Uh, avoid tolls sounds like it's great on the surface, right? Um, but living here in the DFW area and seeing the changes in the in the highways and things, uh, avoid tolls can can could, could really re redirect you poorly. Um, and it's also what is flagged as a toll. Taking 25 up through Denver, uh, there are stretches that are considered high occupancy vehicle and I'm and I'm summarizing to some extent because I don't know the exact verbiage here uh, don't quote me on it but there are particular stretches that are uh, either high occupancy or something where you've got to have a tag to go through them right and 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 if you haven't paid for that tag well 
that's like a toll road. It feels like a toll. And I think we can correct some of that too. But if we don't know about it, you know, uh, national park entrances um, is a pay to get through there. Guess what? That's a toll. So um, some of those things can, can, can be problematic if you select them. Other times they're just things we need to override. We need to say, you know what? Let's fix that. that that's not a toll. That's the entrance to a national park. But um, the whole point of all this being is we give you a boatload of power and tools at your disposal. And so if you have a problem, let's talk about it. Let's figure it out. Let's learn it. Uh, RV Trip, uh, RV Life Pro, uh, RV Life Trip Wizard, the RV Life app um, is the really the premier RV lifestyle suite right now that gives you all of these tools and all the tools and functionality to carefully and safely plan an RV trip. Uh, make your reservations. Make these plans ahead of time. Take the mystery and the unknown out of the journey so you can focus on the drive. You know, new RVers, and, I'm, and I, I keep going on because stuff keeps coming to my head, but, um, particularly in light of this recent show that we just did here in DFW. So many new RVers, their number one fear and concern is fuel. They, once they get about half a tank, you know, the cold sweats start in, the steering wheels gripped a little bit tighter because now they know not only do they have to try to find fuel, they've got to hope they can fit there and get in there when they arrive. And we can eliminate all of that in Trip Wizard by simply planning ahead. You put in your miles per gallon, you put in your uh, fuel capacity uh, and uh, a little bit for reserve. Um, Typically, motor homeowners that have a generator will have a 25% of their tank in reserve. Um, otherwise, your Jenny runs dry, and it's it's not a good thing. Um, but otherwise, if you're pulling something, you're typically going to have a couple of gallons in there just to give you a little bit of a buffer. So we're going to show you on the RV Trip Wizard map, and we saw that orange triangle earlier, exactly where you're going to need fuel. Now you can plan your fuel stops, add them to your trip, fill them with a the little virtual fuel, uh, fuel tank, and it recalculates the next fuel stop. If you're uncertain, if it's not a big truck stop, if you're like, well, what do they have? What what can I, maybe I can do it even here. Um, how do I know I can fit in that fuel tank? So let's share that screen. Let's just take a minute. You know, I, was, I was ready to wrap up 20 minutes ago, but that's how it, that's how it goes. Let's look at fuel stations. We're gonna turn off the campgrounds, turn on fuel. And let's just say, let's see, where was my orange triangle? Down here. Let's see what fuel is in this area. Okay, so it's a good bet a pilot flying J. It's a good bet I can fit in there, right? But let's say I, I, I'm not diesel, I'm not comfortable going there, and I want to go over here somewhere. All right, well, here's a little fuel station on Aerospace Highway. Um, you know, the, the folks that have it the worst are the big rigs that are gas, you know, the big gas motorhomes or big fifth wheels with somebody pulling with gas. It's just you have all this size, but you can't, you know, you can't punt by just going down the diesel lane. You've got to find fuel. So it's like, well, this looks like a great gas station. Can I fit there? So we're going to go to our map settings. First, we're going to take a look at this thing on satellite view and see what it looks like. So if I zoom in on that thing. It's, it's a, oh, here it is. Well, oops, too fast. So we can see here, it's, it's got a pretty broad um, parking area. Let's go to a street view. Let's see what I can see there. Okay. So we see there's plenty of room here, um, but space isn't the only thing. What about... Uh, clearance as far as the awning. What about diesel pumps and things like that? So I can look at this pump and I can see, well, sometimes you can actually read the clearance. Look at that, 14 feet. Okay. So I can see the clearance at 14 feet. I know I can fit under there. Now do they have diesel? Well, I see a green handle here. So that's a um, pretty good, uh, pretty good likelihood. Well, and of course I can look at the sign and diesel 399 so uh, i guess we could hope for 399 but now 399 actually sounds good right that's a little scary but the, the the point here is i've just vetted and 
picked a fuel station that I know I can fit in, that I know that I'd be comfortable going to. So when I go back to Trip Wizard, I can add this stop to my trip. Now, let's see, I don't know where it is. Let's, uh, this is going to be, oops, let me go back to my regular view just to make it a little simpler. And this is the one I want, and it's going to be after. Where's my campground? It's going to be before something here. Let's see what bobs up and down over here. Okay, that's the segment right there. So it looks like it was after Yosemite. So let's just try that. Um, I think this was the one. Maybe it wasn't. It was this one right here. I can add it to my trip. And we think it was after Yosemite. So let's add to trip. And so now you can see that that shell station is in my trip list. And I can go here and I can fill the fuel tank. And now it'll recalculate and show me the next orange triangle. And of course, this could have been going this way versus that way. But, um, either way, the process is the same. You're going to see some overlap if you cross over a road like this one. Um, or I could have, you know, and here's a chance. Let's say it was supposed to be up here. There we go. So I had it in the wrong order. I slid it up using the little image board over here, and now it recalculated. Now my fuel is down here after going up and down. So um, the the point of that exercise, as I got sidetracked once again, um, is to just simply show that by putting in the time ahead of time, I can know what I'm getting into. I don't have to worry while I'm driving, where and when I'm going to get fuel and whether I can fit there. And the same holds true for anything. A Walmart, um, you're going to visit the kids or the grandkids, you're going to a campground, anything you want to know about that route ahead of time, segment by segment by segment, day by day by day, you can plan ahead and you can know with certainty what you're getting into. Um, and for those that don't have a big rig and feel like this is not necessary, I'll remind you that you still have to find campgrounds and be able to review those and add them to a, a, an itinerary of some type, make reservations and all of that. And even when the route doesn't concern you, um, and you can even turn off the RV safe route if you're just doing that, um, there's still no better tool for finding and building a trip uh, than Trip Wizard. So. Uh, RV Life Trip Wizard, part of RV Life Pro, the entire suite. So that's it. I'm definitely going to wrap now. Um, I would love for comments on this, uh, particularly with what do you need to know, what do you want to know, um, and then if all looks good again after this, I will uh, we'll try to get an email or a Facebook post. Uh, either try to do this again next week or the week after. We may we may want to see some engagement on the post or something first. We'll see. We'll we'll make that decision, but. Um, right now, everything looks good. We're going to call that a wrap. That's been almost an hour. Um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching after the fact, if that's you. And we'll try to see you soon. And um, that's it. Live your best RV life. Thank you.